Kenya Moore and daughter Brooklyn announce contest winners. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, baby. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hi. Hi, baby. So as you guys know, um, I'm, I'm just waiting for um, uh, Pamela Hirsch, who is the founder of Baby Quest, to say hi, Bricklet, <laughs> the founder of Baby Quest, to come. She hasn't had her, her hair combed or her, her uh, bath yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, to join me. So that we can announce the winners of um, the new grant, um, in part that I helped to create for Baby Quest um, with my my donation. Hi. Um, say hi, baby. And um, we're just oh, no. really excited to announce the winners today. Yes, baby. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. Say hi. Hi. Ça va. Ça va. Très bien. Yes. Ça va bien? The case? Yes, mirror on the case. Uh, <laughs> Brooklyn's in the house, somebody said. Case. Yes, <laughs> mirror on the case. case? Um, I'm waiting for Pamela. Let's see. I see some questions. I don't really do this a lot, guys, so you got to be a little patient. Can you hear me now? Hi, Hi. Pamela. Hello. Sorry. It's early here. I'm in Los Angeles. It's early. Oh, yes, it is. I got it early just for you. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. First of all, Kenya, I want to thank you for your donation and tell everybody how generous you are and what a great ambassador you are for Baby Quest. And without your help, we, we could not do this. So I'm so happy to have you give the two Detroit couples the opportunity to pursue parenthood, which you know how wonderful it is. So thank yes. you very much. Well, you know what? Hopefully there'll, there will be more awareness that there are foundations that are so caring like Baby Quest. And you guys will get more attention and more donations and more families will have the opportunity to actually pursue parenthood, which is a dream. And I don't think that it should be, um, dreams should not be uh, cost uh, prohibitive. So there should not be a barrier because you can't afford to have alternative um, solutions for for having a child and having a, a, a dream of having a child. So Well, I'm thrilled that you helped the two clinics in Detroit, RMA of Michigan and Dr. Brenda Moskovitz. We thank them as well for their help. Yes. But definitely this would not have happened without you. So thank oh, you. Well, you know, hopefully there, there will be more to come. This will be a long standing, lasting relationship. So this oh. is just the first of many. Perfect. You know, I think that God blessed me and my family. Um, and I just wanted to just, you know, continually uh, just, just try to help other people the way, um, you know, God has just like looked out for our family. So, well, and, and as we tell people on our website, all we can do is give hope. We've yes. helped produce a hundred babies and given out over $2 million, but Woo! we can promise the baby. We can promise yes. hope and a tr and an opportunity. But that's what yes, that's a blessing. That's yes. <laughs> yes. Sometimes that's all you need is just someone to just say, here's a little, a little hope for you. True. Well, yeah. that's, that's what you provided. So we're definitely very, very happy. Yay. Well, and, I, and I know the couples are too. <laughs> yeah. So we're, so tell us about um, their stories a little bit and I'm going to see if I can get them on the line, but I'm yeah. going to have you just do maybe a minute or so of why we selected these two recipients, sure. two families. Sure. Both of these recipients um, have gone through long journeys to get to where they are, and they've not been successful. They have had uh, procedures such as IUIs or previous IVFs, and they just came to the end of their ability to pay, unfortunately. Neither, uh, they both have 
They're very hardworking. Both couples have, you know, good jobs, stable income. They just have run out of money. One of the couples has spent more than, I believe, $30,000 of their own money and came up with nothing. So it's been wonderful to, and believe me, finding these two couples or recipients was not easy. And just to tell people who might be watching who are not from Detroit, on middle of this week, we will be notifying, we think, 11 more couples. Whoa! Who will be getting grants. <laughs> and no more from Michigan, I'm sorry, but, oh, yeah. but, <laughs> but well, around the country. Too. That's great, but 11 more couples and 11, wow. 10, 10 or 11 more. We're not, we're not quite sure. We're kind of in that last phase of decisions. And I just want people to know that if you could see how many hours and hours and hours of work my committee goes through to come up with the people who receive grants. It is not a contest by any means. We study no, not a contest. Everything, everything, the finances, the, the profession, the medical. Um, we have different teams that look at the applications, and we just wish we could give a grant to everyone. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. So, you know, reading some of the stories, it's just heartbreaking, you know, to, um, to hear so many um, stories about the attempts made and um, obstacles um miscarriages um <laughs> i mean i just it's just i it, sometimes it was very difficult for me to even read um some of the emails that were coming into my um, email box directly because you know you want to help everyone but obviously we can't help everyone um and um you know i but but there were a lot of success stories too um when when i've gone down this road and with this journey with you all and reading how you guys have helped so many people yes they help so many people hi yes hi and um you know nine failed attempts 10 failed attempts you know 13 failed attempts um where you know nothing was working uh and people who who need everyone needs something different you know some people may need a surrogate which we know starts right. about fifty thousand. Right. Uh, you have to try doubling i have a yeah i have four granddaughters and three of them two of them were carried by surrogate and a yeah. daughter who owns a surrogacy agency now right. and believe me it is the cost is astronomical and yes if my family had not been financially blessed to be able to help our daughter I wouldn't have two of my four granddaughters. And that's what made me start Baby Quest because people need, pe people come up to the point where the only thing missing is not medical technology, it's it's money. Yes. And that's why Baby Quest exists so that we can help the, as many people as we can. And with people who give donations, we can help even more. So that's why we're great. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I remember Pamela, huh? Remember Miss Pamela? We so have let's, um, <laughs> without further ado, uh, I'm gonna just check to see if they are here. No, these are questions. Okay. Uh, I'm getting so many hey. questions. Um, if, do you have their? I sent their phone numbers to you this morning. I know, but I think it, it's it's not the phone numbers, right? It's um, the the handle, right? No, no, they don't have Instagram. Oh, Instagram. they don't have Instagram. Okay, yeah, so I'll let have you to do the FaceTime. pleasure. Oh, I see. They're not on Instagram because I don't. Yeah, I didn't know how to announce it. So I'll let you do the uh, have the pleasure of announcing, and then okay. I'll on my Instagram for those. Uh, okay. So okay. here we go. The two. The two recipients of the Detroit Kenya Moore Michigan uh, grant. So the gift, right? The the Giving Hope grant. The Giving. Um, we have two couples. <laughs> we have, um, I have to remember their names: Timothy and Carolyn. 
yeah. um, who are from, obviously, um, were sent, the application was sent in and they were being helped by RMA of, of Michigan. And they're a lovely couple. They have spent much, many, many, many dollars on failed attempts. And they're terrific. And then we also have Brandy and Calvin, who, um, again, are patients of Dr. Brenda Moskowitz in um, Troy, Michigan, I believe. Yes. And I'm not familiar with the suburbs, but suburbs <laughs> I think it's there. Um, and they, too, have gone through um, IVFs and have not been successful. So the two couples, congratulations, Brandy yes. and Calvin and Carolyn and Timothy. Um, we're very, very pleased. And the most important thing is you will be able to follow their stories on our website, on Instagram. We will be posting about them. Sorry, you can't see their faces, but you'll see their pictures on Facebook and Instagram this week. And they will join a very special group of over 150 baby quest grant recipients. Yes. And, right, and the pre and next week's new group. So um, I I can only tell you, I've spoken to both of them and they will be talking to you too, but I know how grateful they are to you. So I, I know that they would love to say that to you as yes. well. Oh, so everyone who's watching, please go to Baby Quest um, on Instagram. Um, is it babyquest.org? It's um, babyquestfoundation.org. Or babyquestfoundation. Um, dot org or you, on instagram we're at baby quest grants okay yeah, baby quest i'm gonna put that um baby quest grants right. okay so for all of you guys watching you are um you are an essential piece we're asking that you guys just go to baby quest grants on instagram or find them on facebook and just make a donation just a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars, a hundred, whatever you can afford, just to help someone else have a family. Um, and uh, as you guys can see, what my journey has been, someone who has wanted a child my entire life, I would not have been, it was like a less than 5% chance of me having a child if I had not gone through IVF or assisted reproduction. So please guys, you see the joy, you see Brooklyn, you see this little angel baby. Um, please help someone have their miracle baby. So baby sure. quest grants on Instagram. Right. And, and next deadline is March, to apply is March 10th. Yes. So we'll see you guys. Thank Yay, you so we much. did it. We did it. <laughs> Um, so stay tuned. I'll be posting the winners on my uh, Instagram and then you can follow baby quest and get their, uh, stories directly from them and lots more. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, thank you for being patient. Um, <laughs> while I figure out my Instagram baby quest grants on Instagram and baby quest foundation foundation dot org, dot org is the yep, website so, baby quest you got it here we go thank so, you on to the next we love right. you pamela thank you for uh, all the wonderful and we work love that you, you do. we love you too okay take care everybody bye -bye. Bye. Take care. <laughs> thanks for tuning in to newborn arrival